Hey all, welcome back. This is part three and it's the last part of the while loop section. Uh, to be sure though, almost everything that we're about to do in the for loop section, you could do with a while loop. While loop and for loops do similar enough operations such that if you can do something with a while loop, chances are you could do it with a for loop as well. But what we're going to do now is we're going to loop over a string. So strings are immutable, which means that we can't change the values by saying string at an index is equal to some new value, but we can look at all of the values in a string by iterating, and we can iterate using a while loop. So the first thing we're going to do is demonstrate it with a rather simple example. And by simple, we just mean one without real, like a lot of context. So if we run this, we're going to see all of the characters in the string. Nothing's really changing here, uh, and you'll find that arrays and strings are pretty similar in some respects and very dissimilar in other respects, but in this case what we're doing is just taking advantage of the fact that a string is indexed at, uh, starts its indexes at zero, and that we can access a certain character within a string by saying the string at whatever index we're looking for. Couldn't really think of a great example for iterating over a string, so here we have a sequence of notes uh, in music, you know, it's an A, it's a B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, had to look this up, I know nothing about music for the most part. But the index is going to start at zero as it did. We're going to make sure that while the index is less than the note sequence dot length, we're going to console.log whatever current character the index refers to in the note sequence. And then we'll make sure that we increment the index each time before the while loop runs again. So we run this, we'll get our ABCDG looking good. Now we're going to complete a function that takes one parameter, a string of characters, and logs all of its characters one at a time to the console. Your function should use a while loop to log each character from the beginning to the end of the string, then return nothing. Below is an example of the code running. Assuming that you will have completed the described function, loop a string. Let's grab our function stub. Let's grab our test cases. Index variable. I'm going to just call i this time. I'm going to create a while loop where i is less than the string dot length. Length. I'm going to wrap my while loop around my pseudocode. I'm going to log the current value in the string to the console. And then I'm going to increment the value of i each time the while loop runs. So if I run this, I should get node.js abcd. Excellent. Let's copy and paste this back into the input window. And the shape we are in is good. Excellent work. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.